sure? <laughs> yes! Do I stay dry when it's raining outside? I was sitting at home, getting some rest, thinking about biscuits and bagels, something to have for breakfast. I don't know where my alarm went off. I woke up a little bit groggy. I got my mint green tea, and like most parents, I was ready to go. I went into the office, happy as can be, and began doing my work. First I did some math, then I did some English, and then I had an idea. How do my clothes stay dry in the rain? Should I wear beach clothes? Should I wear a sweater and jacket? I mean, this was a real problem. I was curious as to why some materials absorb water and others reject it. So I decided to go to the place where I know they can do experiments and help me understand the world. Kid Science Labs, come join me. We can sit down and do some discovery, innovation, and understand what materials absorb the least water. First, let's pick up a few materials that'll help us do our experiment. Material science matters, and knowing how much water can be absorbed is a great way to figure out what type of clothes you might want to wear when going outside, or how you might clean up that great spill that just happened in your kitchen. As you can see, a sponge and paper towel absorb water very, very well, versus aluminum foil and packing foam would not make a very good mop. Toilet paper is pretty good, but it has a different purpose. Material science matters, y'all. It's science.